from 3 chapter 8 video number 9 okay and now the title detection of the radioactive radiations okay page number 5 okay I jump back or tell each other so there are three types of radi radioactive radiation and what the example alpha beta and also gamma sun alpha beta and gamma but how to detect the alpha beta and gamma or how you know the alpha beta and gamma okay so this radioactive radiation can be detected and identified by observing the pattern of the track formed by the radioactive substance in the what so how to detect the alpha beta and gamma by using what equipment you some don't see like can in crowd chamber okay crowd chamber copy crowd chamber or what you mean by crowd chamber crowd is a yun chamber function yun the function okay <laughs> crowd chamber so what you mean by crowd chamber or how is a crowd chamber? Simple. You may be prepared in your house or maybe prepare this in your school. But before I start, I tell you what's the basic principle to build a crowd chamber. Okay, number one. So they say this is a not they say this is a crowd chamber, really the crowd chamber. So a strip of fuel soak in the alcohol produce the alcohol vapor into the chamber. So, to basically, so the alcohol finally going to evaporate and produce a lot of alcohol vapor inside the cow chamber. Another meaning, is to produce the alcohol and produce the alcohol in the cow chamber. Two, keep some, put some dry ice, find some camping. So, the dry ice cool the alcohol vapor. So dry ice lower the temperature and they cool down the alcohol vapor. So when the alcohol vapor become cool down, they will condense, 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 and finally making the cow chamber, it will become saturated with the alcohol vapor, so the alcohol vapor will become saturated with the alcohol vapor, so the alcohol vapor will become saturated with the然后给它的那个酒精的蒸汽更饱和一点点,炸头一点点。Okay,那么three. And now the radioactive source radiate the radioactive radiations at the same time. Okay,在这边呢,就放出一些有放射线的,放射线呢。有放射,放出,放一些能放出放射线的东西。And now, what happened? 当放射线经过了你的烤 chamber, you can see something, 你就能看到东西了。so at the same time ionize the air on the track on the track 这些放射线经过这边的水酒精的蒸汽经过这边的空气它就会造成一些东西给你看出来了 so the radioactive track can be seen because the droplets of alcohol vapor condense on the track 因为这些放射线经过它的空气的时候 they ionize the air and they ionize whatever 它离子化里面的空气 and now 酒精的蒸汽就凝聚在里面 然后变成了好像一条路给你看到一条线一条线 ok but 讲没有用 what is crowd chamber or how is a crowd chamber 它到底看起来是怎样的呢 ok 那 this is the crowd chamber it's just a small equipment 小小个透明的一个东西里面有很多水蒸气酒精然后给放射线经过等一下你就会看到一些线 from the diagram 从你看到的图片 ok the scenery 那个风景 那个情况 the condition 你就知道它应该是 alpha beta or gamma but what is this ok for example alpha so let's say this is the cloud chamber can you imagine when the alpha pass through the cloud chamber what happened Alpha actually having the very high ionizing power, it has a very high ionizing power. So when Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them are the biggest particle. Alpha pass through the cloud chamber, and Alpha actually is a big particle, three of them so now it produces a lot of radiation. 
啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪啪，你看到的东西就是这样子的，证明它够雄够强。So thick track 很厚，很明显 ，strong ionizing power， 它的离子化的能力非常强。Straight track 而且很直的，你看它走的路啊，噔噔噔噔噔噔直的。So heavy alpha particle they are not easily deflected by the collision with the air。OK， 因为它够强，叭叭叭叭叭叭叭，所以它的线是直的。所、so, 以 with this condition， 这样子的情况就叫 alpha。OK， 所、so, 以 now draw on your notes page number five or six， 第五第六面，来 alpha， 如果你真的放出 alpha， 它的线是直的，哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。所以 draw alpha radiation。Next, how about beta? Beta 到底怎样呢 ？Okay, beta will be different. Beta they are small electrons. Okay, so when the small electron pass through the air, boom, 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 it collide with the air and diffracted by the air. 它撞到空气，不可能被反射折射。嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯。So the track not going to become straight 了。它的路呢不是直了的，它的路呢是弯了的，喷来喷去的那一种。So beta. 它就会出现这种不三不四的一条一条线了的 ，OK。所以 thin track 比较瘦。Another mean weaker ionizing power， 它的离子化的能力没有不够强。Irregular track， 它的线也不直的 ，because beta particle 它 easily diffracted， 它比较容易呢被人家反射掉，所以它不能造成一条直线。So this is beta radiation。好吧，干嘛？ Gamma 就好像不是东西，像鬼一样，对不对？鬼经过你会看得到的呢。不啦 ，OK。So beta， you draw your beta first。你先画那个 beta。OK。About gamma， gamma will be almost nothing can be seen， 几乎看不到东西了。So scattered track， 有没有？有没有 ？Almost。Unobservable, 几乎看不到东西了。So gamma, 几乎没有东西。Okay, so this is what we call crowd chamber experiment to determine alpha, beta, and gamma. But how is the crowd chamber look like? 它真正的 crowd chamber 是怎样的呢？我们现在来看呢，真正的 crowd chamber。So here we are on the last day of the recording for the Christmas lectures. Uh, but I thought I'd take an opportunity to point this out because it's so beautiful. This is a really stunning cloud chamber, and the tracks that you can see here show just the natural radiation in the atmosphere around us. So if we actually have a look in here, you can see sometimes there are there are thicker tracks, which are big, heavy alpha particles. Sometimes there are little wispy ones, which are beta particles. But all of these, they're all working in the same way. So the atmosphere in here contains a lot of vapor of alcohol, and it's sort of more than it should have. And when these charged particles fire through the atmosphere in here, they cause little droplets to form, and those are the clouds that you're seeing. So this is a similar sort of thing to when you get to a track behind an airplane. So there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and it's just the exhaust just helping those、uh, drops of moisture to form together and leave that cloud. And this is a tiny little sample of the element called americium, and this is used in smoke detectors. So you've probably got some of this in your home. At least you should have.、Uh, so this is an artificially produced metal. And as soon as this is introduced, look at that. What we're seeing here are tracks from the alpha particles emitted from this radioactive source. And these alpha particles, or、well, they're two protons, two neutrons, 
and they grab electrons and form helium atoms. So what you're seeing here are the birth of helium atoms. Okay, so beside the cloud chamber, cloud chamber actually is a simple equipment for us to determine alpha, beta, and gamma. But beside the cloud chamber, is there anything that we can use to detect and measure the radioactive radiation? Okay, so radioactive radiation can also be detected and measured by using the what? Gigamur counter. This machine, this thing. GM counter. Giga Moore Moore counter. Okay, copy. Very important. It must be your exam answer. Can answer is you need to use the one word. Always this Giga Moore counter. Giga Moore counter or Moore counter. Okay. Set. Now under your notes, copy something. Your exercise three to ten. This and that. This thirty. So we're going to try exercise after this. Next time we will do exercise. See you. Bye bye.